Hey guys, uh, it's Kenneth, and welcome to part three of how I play Hawk Nelson's song, Crazy Love. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, so, um, I never really did recap the whole solo, so if, um, this would be a good time to practice with me, if you will. Um, uh, I'll do the whole solo, so just to make sure you guys get it. I'll get it slowly, and then I'll just speed it up. Sorry. And that's basically it. Um, <clears throat> that's a recap of the solo, the first solo. Anyway, uh, then you're back into. Oh yeah, I play this little. This is during the bridge. But you probably don't need to learn that part. Um, you're back into the chorus. Oh yeah, the second solo, which is an octave below. It's almost the exact same thing. So, it should be, it kind of fits nicely into your hand because you're almost used to it. The only different thing is, is that since you're not playing, you're going to play one note on the B string, so the different interval between the G and B string, because obviously all of, your, all of your other strings are in fifths, but your G, G and B string, your G and B string are, since B and C are half steps, they're kind of, it's like a four and a half steps. Um... So, the solo, an octave lower, is during the chorus, uh, during one of the last choruses, is first finger, fifth fret of the eight top E string. And you're just going to do that same pattern, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, and then you're going to bend it up. One. Um, I think you guys can get this. I don't really need to tell you all of the fret numbers and stuff. It's just one. It's just if you if your bass first finger go if your first finger goes on the fifth, sixth, your second finger goes on the sixth fret, third finger goes on the um, seventh, and your fourth finger would go on the eighth fret. So you're basically set. So you would go one four, one three, one three. One three, bend three, one. That's in the G string, and then you're on the D string three. One three on the G string. Sorry, that that last note was in the D string. Third finger on the <clears throat> seventh. First finger again on the G string. One three, so it's fifth and seventh frets. You know, this time you're gonna bend it up. Well, obviously you can bend it this time, and you're gonna have to go pretty far because again you're aiming for the ninth fret. So, and you're gonna hit the B string with your fourth finger on the eighth fret while you're bent up, and then bend that note on the G string down. First finger goes on the first finger G string, fifth fret. Three, G string, slide it up to the ninth. So you're on the seventh, and you're gonna slide it up to the ninth. So the whole thing from up to that point is this. Now this part is different, it's not. It's this. So there's only a slight difference, but the difference is, before you played it up here, it's not da da da, you're actually playing those two notes back and forth, instead of, it's, so after you play that, so you're there on the G string of the ninth, G string ninth, you're going to shift 
from there down, your fourth finger goes on the G string seventh, and your second finger is on the fifth fret of the G string. You're gonna play that twice. So four two four two, and then it's back to normal. That's how you played it before. So um, at that um, four two four two. Then your first finger B, uh, sorry, G string fourth, and fourth finger D string uh, seventh. Play those twice. So four two four two, one four one four. Now you're gonna sh uh, let's see. Sometimes I use my first finger. Sometimes I use my second finger on that D string fifth fret. I'm gonna use my first finger. And play one three. That's um, D string five seven fifth fret and seventh fret. And then fifth fret of the D string with my first finger to the seventh fret of the A string. And then uh, let's see. Yeah. Ooh, let's see. Hold on. Sorry. So we're right there. Da four two four two. One four one four. Uh one three one one three one three. I'm not sure if I show you that part correctly, so it's um fifth fret D string five seven. Then fifth fret D string first finger and then third finger A string is seven. I think I did show you that part correctly. But this part is um I think I did not show you correctly. Is one three one three one three. Uh yeah. So it's five seven on the A string, five seven on the D string and five seven on the G string. Those are the fret numbers. Um, so the whole solo on the, the octave below sounds like this. Sorry. Sorry. That one's different. So again, it's... There we go, that's better. Um, and then after that, after those two notes, you're going to be staying on here for two measures. It's da 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 da. And you play that two measures. So it's first finger, B string. It's again that unison thing. This time you're bending up to the down. Oh, yeah, actually, you're bending up and down. Um, that's first finger uh, B string 10th and third finger G string 12th. So it's. Now, this part. So. I use my third finger on the 15th of the bottom E string. And you're aiming for this note. Oh, shoot, I have a minute left. Uh, you're aiming for the 17th fret of the E string, that note, so you, when you bend up. Um, yeah. So that, that's the uh, 15th. So you bend up. Sorry. Then play that normally. Second finger goes on the B string 13th. Sorry, yeah, 13th. And then 12th. 13th, 15th of the of the B string. So it's then you're gonna use the 13th again on that bottom. Sorry, your 15th with your third finger on the bottom E string again. Bend it up. Play that note normally again. And then 12th fret. Play that normally of the B string and then slide down. So the whole solo from the blow octave was something like this.
and I see that I am out of time again. So part four is, I think it's four, is coming up. Um, we'll finish the basically the whole thing. You still have the other solo to go through. And then yeah, thank you guys for watching and part four coming up.